Hello, Arc Electric leadership. This week's toolbox talk. It's not OSHA compliance. We will have an OSHA compliance item next week. This week's talk was in reference to re most recently dealing with the fatality. So therefore, I wanted to cover electrical safety beside having someone who brought up the request, which I thought was awesome. <clears throat> so here we go. Electrical safety might not be the spark of anybody's interest, but it can and does happen. What just recently happened in uh, Sheboygan County, recently involved in a fatality. And so I felt the need to cover the topic along with the request. There's a lot of do's and don'ts regarding electrical safety that we should all be aware of. Office employees should also be aware uh, and encouraged to read the message or at least understand the basics of how it could affect them. Talking about the traditional, whether it's wire lines of phones, headsets, computers, uh, hard drives, chargers, copy machines, uh, the snakes across floors, under desk, they're everywhere. As such, taking charge uh, and being proactive is a good thing to do. In the meantime, here is a list of the following do's and don'ts on electrical safety. Don't. I mean, let me start with the do's. Treat every electrical device like it's energized. No matter if it does not look like it's plugged in or operational, it makes no difference. Unplug appliances before performing any service or repairs on them. When working on electrical devices, use only tools that have official non-conducting handles. Try to limit the use of electrical equipment in rooms that are very cold and have a lot of condensation. When handling electrical equipment, make sure that your hands are dry. If you spill any kind of liquid on electric equipment, First, immediately shut off the power to the equipment via the main switch or circuit breaker, and then unplug the equipment itself. Keep all electrical circuits, circuit contact points and closed. Finally, if you are unable or you are able to work on electrical equipment with one hand, the other hand is out of the way at your side or in the pocket, this really does minimize the current going through. But understand these don'ts before anything. First and foremost, don't touch any active electrical circuit. Never touch electrical equipment when any part of your body is wet. That includes fair amounts of perspiration. Do not store liquids of any sort near electrical equipment. First thing comes into contact, with the, an energized electrical conductor, do not touch the equipment, its cords, or the person affected because the charge may pass through you. Uh, instead, shut down the main power source via the circuit breaker, unplug the equipment. Do not wear metal of any sort when working on the electrical equipment. Also, do not try to probe fix electrical equipment uh, with objects like pencils, rulers, uh, metal of any sort. Overall, these are some of the great rules to adhere to. However, there are great rules to adhere to that more aspects of proper electrical safety that are vital to understand. So take charge of your safety and the safety of your employees. Bottom line is only qualified people are to work on electrical issues, electrical panels, must have arc flash training, must know the right equipment and be trained PPE wise. And if ever in doubt, always, always first, we must ask a competent, qualified person. And this also includes trenching any areas where there's electrical power. That's my message for the week. Be safe and uh, make healthy choices. Take care.